Hello everybody, this is Abraham with Nashua Computer Services. What I have here is a Mac 27 inch. This is a follow-up video to a previous one that I've recorded before where I was replacing a motherboard on it and discovered that there's actually three uh, SATA ports on this Mac. So, on this video I've actually pulled out the motherboard and uh, connected all three SATA ports to see if they'll work. So this is what we have. This is the original hard drive port, not the original hard drive. Then we have the uh, CD-ROM that I have converted into a hard drive port. And this last one, blue one here, goes and gets connected to the SATA port 2, which is 0, 1, and 2, third one. So we have three hard drives connected to one iMac. Uh, what I'm planning to do is actually, because I have this long cord, is to have it sticking outside. Um, very frequently I need to transfer data uh, from one hard drive to another and using USB 2 that this one has, kind of slow, using SATA is going to be faster. Um, I do have a uh, uh, lightning connector but for some reason it's not as reliable as USB. Uh, maybe it's just my equipment, maybe uh, Thunderbolt is what, uh, what I have. And uh, I, on this Mac it's just not working as fast as I wish it was. So I'm going to check and see how quickly the SATA um, actually works. And here is the screen of this Mac and here's the disk utility you can see that there are three hard drives so one two and three uh, that are all mounted and accessible in iMac so it does have three ports and all three are activated I am planning to install Windows 10 on it and see how I can have Windows 7, Windows 10 and Mac OS all running at the same time on three different hard drives. Not an easy chore uh, because the CD-ROM has to be a USB CD-ROM and it's not liking something about this setup. If you have any questions let me know otherwise uh, Oh, one thing. These are the bolts that need to be removed to uh, pull the motherboard out. We have this one here. I didn't put it back. We have this one here. This one here hasn't been put back. One in the center. One over here. It's not back yet. And two over here. Oh, and one more over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bolts need to be taken out. And a whole bunch of electrical connectors along the board. And then the board will come out this way and then up. Oh, also the infrared receiver needs to be pulled out before you can tilt the board. Uh, it actually keeps the board in place. Also, you want to take out the memory cards. So memory cards, infrared receiver, just pulls out eight bolts, and you tilt. Oh, and all the connectors on top. Oh, this um, Wi-Fi unit. Uh, all the connectors around. Then you tilt the board and slide it up. Tilt, slide. That's how the board comes out. You do not have to take any other uh, electronics out and the fans can stay in. So hopefully this helps somebody. As always, thank you for watching.